What about awareness? What about being aware of one's surroundings? This is another Jane Goodall type study involving elephants. We know elephants are long-lived animals. They do have their legendary memories. We know that elephants show clinical signs of post-traumatic stress disorder. You may have heard of these so-called culling programs where, where elephants come into conflict with humans and it's usually not because elephant populations are increasing, it's usually because human populations are increasing and beginning to encroach on the elephant's territory. And when there's a conflict, you know which species is usually gonna pay the bigger price, not the humans. And uh, so, um, and, and the, and the, the clinically, clinical definition for post-traumatic stress disorder in humans, some of those same symptoms are shown in elephants, young elephants who, for instance, have had their families shot down and they've been allowed to live and they, they bear that emotional scar for the rest of their lives and they develop uh, sleeping disorders, eating disorders, violent outbursts, and some of these other signs that are, that are consistent with humans also who are suffering from this condition, post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, anyway, this was a study of elephants that involved showing that they're aware of their surroundings and they're aware of other elephants and who they are and where they are at any given time. And elephants, again, long-lived, you would expect that they know who's who, just as chimps, monkeys, rats, other mammals and birds, they know individuals if they live among them for long periods. In this particular study, sometimes scientists do kind of funny things to study things, but it's a clever little study, a very simple approach that involved collecting freshly deposited urine and redepositing it on the ground. And if elephants are walking from this way to this way, and elephants are often migrating, you know, a few miles to uh, a fruiting marula tree or some other, or a, 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 some water over there they want to get to, and they know their way around. So if the elephants are moving this way and they encounter urine that's freshly deposited by scientists surreptitiously from elephants who are walking ahead, they will check it out, but they're not really they just check it out and then they move on. But if they encounter urine that has been surreptitiously deposited from elephants who are walking a little way behind, they show more surprise is what the scientists called it. They, they curl their tongue, trunks more and they just generally show more interest in that. And if you think about it, well, it just doesn't fit expectations. You don't expect to find fresh urine from somebody if you know, that, if you know you're keeping mental tabs that they're walking somewhere back there. So it's a simple way to show that they're actually aware of who's who and who's where at any time. And it's thought that elef a given elephant is probably keeping tabs, mental tabs, on 30 or so other elephants at any given time. 